Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am Father Milad Yagi from Our Lady of the Caesars Church in Houston, Texas. Our meditation today is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, Mission of the Twelve. Jesus continued his tour to all the towns and villages. He taught in their synagogues. He proclaimed the good news of God's reign, and he cured every sickness and disease. At the sight of the crowd, his heart was moved with pity. They were lying prostrate from exhaustion like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, The harvest is good, but laborers are scarce. He begged the harvest master to send out laborers to gather his harvest. My dear brothers and sisters, the opposition to Jesus did not deter his compassion. He continued to tour the towns and villages, teaching and curing disease and sickness. Observe how Jesus in his preaching had respect to the small towns. He visited not only the great cities, but the poor village. There he preached, there he healed. The souls of those that are meanest in the world are precious to Christ and should be to us. Christ showed also respect to the public worship. He went to the synagogues that he might have the opportunity of preaching there, where people were gathered with an expectation to hear. Jesus took notice of the multitude, not only of the crowds that followed him. Jesus' heart was moved with pity for the crowds. His compassion was the reason that in today's gospel, he went about all the village proclaiming the good news and curing diseases. Jesus pitied them and was concerned for them not upon a temporal account, as he pitied the blind and the sick, but upon a spiritual account. He was concerned to see them ignorant and careless and ready to perish for lack of vision. The scribes and Pharisees filled them with vain notions. Christ pitied most those who pity themselves less, so should we. Jesus saw in these people all the marginalized. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Sinful souls are as lost sheep. They need the care of shepherds to bring them back. Jesus turned the problem into an opportunity. He observed the, that the harvest is good. He said also, that laborers are scarce because pastoral work is physical, straining, even when not physically demanding. The Pharisees' ideas of leadership was to deal only with those who were profitable. Jesus saw the poor as persons who are worthwhile. No matter how one views Christian ministry, the first necessity is prayer. Jesus unties his disciples to pray. Without prayer, the leaders risk working for themselves rather than Christ, making the work their own rather than his. There was a great deal of work to be done, but they wanted hands to do it. It's for him and to him and to his service and honor that harvest is gathered in. All who love Jesus Christ should show it by their earnest prayers to God, especially when the harvest is plentiful, that he would send forth more skillful, faithful, and wise laborers into his harvest. God needs people. God needs every one of us. The amount of work is way out of proportion 
to the resources. Our home, our parish, our community offer opportunities for us to accept God's mission as ours. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you know us to the inner core of our being. Take us as we are with all we can offer you and put us to good use in the service of your church. Grant us the clarity of vision which will be in, enable us to recognize the need of those closest to us. Help us to give freely and without reservation in your name. Amen.